everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Today, we celebrate the feast of Saint Hilary of Poitier. Born in France around the year 310, Hilary was born to a pagan family and was given a high-level secular education. Later, he studied the Old and New Testaments and found them so utterly moving, he and his wife and daughter converted to Christianity. His daughter would later become Saint Abra. As with most saints, his Christian journey was not all rainbows and sunshine. Being a gentle and courteous man with a good grasp on the Christian faith, he was quickly nominated to become Bishop of Poitiers, which he didn't desire but accepted the position humbly. Now during this time, the heresy of Arianism was running rampant in the church. Arianism basically teaches that Jesus did not coexist with God eternally. It's heresy of anti-Trinitarian and puts forth that Jesus was lesser than God the Father. St. Hilary fought all his life to correct this false teaching. He took up pen and paper, writing many dissertations to support the Holy Trinity. As you can imagine, this caused him to collect a lot of enemies in his lifetime, including the Emperor Constantinus, who exiled him to Pyrogia for four years. During that time, he worked tirelessly to catechize confused Catholics to the truth of the Trinity in love and patience. He passed away having successfully seen Arianism defeated in his lifetime and was declared a doctor of the faith in 1851. When we stand for the truth, we have to expect some tension. Our fallen human nature forces us to push back even when it's against something good. When we live a Christian life, we adopt the triumphs and crosses of our Lord and Savior. Anticipate persecution, whether big or small. Jesus didn't deliver messages and expect a peaceful, immediate acceptance. He knew he'd be stirring the hornet's nest, no matter how lovingly he presented the gospel because of our free will. We can have the kindest of demeanors and the purest of intentions in sharing our Christian views, and the world is so quick to attack and ridicule. Even our very presence can be convicting. For those of us who hate conflict like myself, this can be really difficult. It's easier to say nothing in the moment and let people continue living their fallen states. But we're not called to stand back and watch the world destroy itself. On the opposite side of the spectrum, for people who enjoy good verbal sparring, the key to sharing the gospel is doing so in a charitable and patient manner, just as St. Hilary encouraged people to do so, just as Jesus himself taught. Above all things, let's focus on pursuing our own sainthood. The greatest testament to our faith is how it changes us, heals us, and reveals the love of Christ through us. We might not think our words and actions matter to someone else, but in the grand scheme of things, it could be what sparks the Holy Spirit to move in a restless heart. St. Hilary of Poitiers, pray for us. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic.